<clears throat> hey guys, how's it going? Well, who's ready for a little band hammer action? I actually had another video planned, then this guy had to open his mouth. I haven't had any problems with the dude saved us. Any. Everything he said was pretty neutral or leaning towards uh, what we generally talked about. Hey, you guys, be quiet. Hey. And then he puts this. So let's examine what he said before we nonchalantly cast him into outer darkness. It's important that Jesus knows you, not all this Calvinist garbage that you must know Jesus. First of all, the Calvinists don't believe that. Rightly divide this. Jesus didn't say, depart from me because you never knew me. True. But you have to remember, Jesus knew all of us from the very beginning of everything, the foundations of the world. So what are you doing to make Jesus know you now when he has already known you for thousands of years? Hmm? He picked you from the beginning, right? That's what the Bible says. Rightly divide that. Salvation is about Jesus knowing you by simple belief because you believed his gospel brought by the Apostle Paul. At what point does he suddenly notice us? Is it at the moment that we believe, oh look, there's a believer? He already knew us from the beginning. Rightly divide that. He said, depart from me because I never knew you. Right. Because we never developed a relationship with him. Not we, but the other people. They did everything in his name, but never knew him personally. This is a garbage teaching and double talking, and you're making the simple too confusing. No, actually, you are. Because if Jesus knew us from the beginning of all things, the foundations of the world, just like the Bible says, why do we have to get him to know us again? We were chosen. Did you not see the video I did on predestination? We were chosen from the very beginning of everything. So where is this garbage coming from? I think the problem is you need to do some, rightly, some right dividing because you're not doing it. Because I have over a thousand videos that I've done covering all this stuff in intense detail with much scripture, which obviously you didn't watch that whole video. You just finally found something you wanted to complain about and decided to cast your lot out there to see what would happen. Well, here's what's going to happen. Click, hide user from channel. Banhammer, you're gone. I ain't playing with you guys. Yeah, people over there on Diamond Dustification's channel threatening him and talking smack to him. No, you bunch of children. Look, I've been in this game longer than a lot of people. I've gone out and met people that have threatened me and threatened my life. And you know what they said? They talked a bunch of smack, got back in their car, and left. They had no intention of doing anything. They thought they were tough, and they weren't. You guys aren't tough either, and y'all don't know your Bible. You're not reading your scriptures. Paul Woodward right here, you see on the screen? Great brother in Christ. He put a link up here on the, uh-oh, I'm a false prophet again. Go watch that. Talk about righteous indignation. Yeah, he was hot. He's got a whole playlist of this stuff that he was doing against people on his channel. He's a grace preacher. He believes just like we do. Every single grace preacher is getting attacked exactly the same way from the same group of people. All of y'all can go into Shadowland. I don't care what your problem is. And I don't care what you're offended about. Because it's clear to me that if I can go give you a hundred scriptures that explain it and you still come against it, you haven't read your Bible or watched my video because that 100 scriptures proves what it is. Videos that I've, I've shared 300 or more scriptures on, people come against it. Well, you didn't prove anything. Really? Where's your 300 scriptures? I don't see it. I don't see your video going up on your channel. Y'all are too scared to... to Put videos up? Y'all are too cowardly? Not sure in your understanding? Yet you want to come on into people's comment sections and talk a bunch of smack? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Not happening. See, I don't play with you guys. There's a couple other people that are a little more into conversation. Diamond, he, he tries to reach out to people. I try to reach out to certain people if it looks you know, like a, there might be a door open there. But like that stupid stuff there? Nah. You're not interested in talking. You're just interested in running your mouth because you're full of hate. Because... You hate what you don't understand. And if it violates your self-imposed idea of what's right and wrong or your sensibilities or your truth, your truth, you just put a bunch of hate out there and you don't want to engage it. Okay, I don't want to talk to you either. And I'm sure not going to let your comments stay in my comment section because I'm going to keep my subscribers from having to deal with that constant harassment that you guys feel the need to do. I don't go to your channels and harass you in your comment sections. Don't come to my channel and harass me because you're going to get shadow banned. And dude, if you're watching, dude, I just shadow banned you. So now nobody will ever see your comments again, including me. Bye. I, you guys think you think you got something? 
You think that you have something that you can offer this conversation? If it's insults, I don't see anything constructive being added to the conversation. You need to always remember, I'm always sitting at the debate table. You're just visiting here. There is nothing you can say or do that's going to show me anything impressive or convince me of what the truth is that's contained in the Bible. Because if you watch two minutes of my video and then comment, you have no idea what you're talking about because your question will get answered in that video. I can't cover it all in five minutes. Sorry, you're going to have to watch the whole video. It's just the way it is. But hey, if that's not what you're interested in, if you're just interested in discourse and division, what does the Bible say to do about that? See, that's the difference that you guys don't catch. Y'all come into the comment sections to cause problems. I just put out videos. It's free choice, whoever wants to watch it. And if they disagree and don't want to watch it, they click away. No harm, no foul. But when you decide you want to engage with no proof and with no actual understanding or context or scripture to prove your point, you make yourself look like a fool and you get shadow banned. Now, I've got people that are subscribed to me that I talk to that disagree with me. Awesome. They do it like an adult. And we have a discourse. We have a conversation back and forth. And if we disagree, we disagree. I got people that I talk to that disagree on the, on the rapture. That's not a salvation issue. But when the hate comes, that's when you get yourself shut down. I'm not playing with you guys. If that offends you, good. That makes you mad, even better. You need to get mad. You guys are ridiculous and you're childish in your simple and simplistic reactions to normal conversation. This is my channel, my content, my videos. You don't have to agree with it, but you chose to come here to watch it. And you can choose to see your way out too. Or you can be escorted out just like I did to the dude. Who calls Jesus dude anyway? I <sighs> anyway, guys, ban hammer out. And I'm not afraid to use it. And guys, look, guys, all the grace preachers that are watching, don't feel bad about banning people. They can still watch your videos, and just nobody sees their comment. Nobody, if they really wanted to have some kind of conversation with you, they would e email you. I've only had three people email me so far, and it was hate. But only three of them had the guts to actually email me to converse with me. And I've had people that disagree with me that emailed me. We talked back and forth. No big deal. No harm, no foul. Come at me like an adult, I'll treat you like an adult. Come at me like that mess, you're gone. I don't even, I'm not even interested. Because it's never going to go anywhere. How do I know this? Experience. Just like Diamond said, we both understand linguistics. We can see certain keywords that are going to pop up in certain ways of spelling things that tell you there's something wrong with that person. If you see a comment this long and there's no punctuation or capitalization or there's misspelled words, there's a problem there. That person's just spewing it out. If it's nothing but hate, if it's spaced five spaces between each line, if it's got all caps for no apparent reason, not even for emphasis, it's just all caps. A ton of emoticons. Now, a comment with a few emoticons, that's not that big a deal. But when you see a comment like several paragraphs and it's full of emoticons, no. There's something wrong. Evidently, that person can't articulate properly. And there's usually a ton of hate contained within that comment. See ya. Bye. The Bible does not say I have to converse with you. It actually says to mark and avoid you. See ya, dude. I ain't playing with you no more. Anyway, guys, I love y'all. I bless y'all in Jesus' name. I'll see you in the next video.